Chapter One of Book Four of Physics by Aristotle, translated by Thomas Taylor. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Jeffrey Edwards. Chapter One. In like manner, it is necessary that the natural philosopher should know concerning place as well as concerning the infinite whether it is or not and in what manner it is and what it is for all men conceive that beings are somewhere since non-being is nowhere for where is a herco kervus or a sphinx and that which is the most common and principal motion which we call lation subsists according to place what place is however is attended with many doubts for it does not appear to be the same to those who survey it from all its inherent properties beside we have nothing transmitted to us by other philosophers either as a doubt about place or an explanation of its nature chapter two that there is such a thing therefore as place appears to be evident from alternate mutation for where water now is here on its departure as from a vessel air will again be contained but sometimes some other body will occupy this very place but this appears to be different from the things which enter into it and are changed for in the place in which air now is in this water was before so that it is evident that there was a certain place and receptacle different from both into which and from which they were changed again the lations of natural and simple bodies such as of fire earth and others of this kind not only events that there is a certain place but also that it possesses a certain power for each tends to its own place unless it is impeded one body downward and another upward but these are the parts and species of place viz upward and downward and the remaining six intervals things of this kind however do not only subsist with relation to us viz the right hand and the left hand upward and downward for no one of these is always the same to us but subsists according to position as we happen to turn ourselves hence the same thing is frequently on the right and left hand upward and downward before and behind but in nature each of these is separately defined for not anything casual is upward but that to which fire and a light body tend in like manner with respect to that which is downward this is not the place of any casual thing but it is that to which heavy and terrestrial things tend as if these did not alone differ in position but also in power this also is manifested by mathematical entities for these not being in place yet at the same time according to position with reference to us they have the right hand and the left so that the position of them is alone the object of intellection in consequence of not possessing each of these from nature further still those who say that there is a vacuum assert that there is place for a vacuum will be a place deprived of body that place therefore is something beside bodies and that every sensible body is in place may through these things be concluded hesiod also may seem to speak rightly when he makes chaos to be first for he says quote, chaos of all things was the first produced and earth wide bosomed next Close quote as if it were requisite that there should first be a receptacle for beings because he thought with the many that all things are somewhere and in place but if it is a thing of this kind the power of place will be wonderful and prior to all things for that without which no one of other things subsists but which can itself subsist without others is necessarily the first for place is not destroyed when the things which it contains are corrupted chapter three it is dubious however if place is what it is 
whether it is a certain bulk of body or some other nature for in the first place its genus is to be investigated it has therefore three intervals length breadth and depth by which every body is bounded it is however impossible that place should be body for if it were there would be two bodies in the same again if there is a place and receptacle of body it is evident that there is also of superficies and of the remaining boundaries for the same reasoning applies to these for where superficies of water were before there will again be superficies of air we have however no difference of a point and the place of a point so that if place is here not different from the point neither will it be different from any one of the others nor is place anything beside each of these what then can we admit place to be for possessing a nature of this kind it can neither be an element nor composed from elements either corporeal or incorporeal for it possesses indeed magnitude but is not any body but the elements of sensible bodies are bodies and no magnitude is produced from intelligible elements further still of what can any one admit place to be the cause of beings for no one of the four causes is present with it for it is neither as the matter of beings since nothing has its subsistence from it nor is it as the form and reason of things nor as the end nor does it move beings again if place is any being where will it be for the doubt of zeno investigates a certain reason for if every being is in place it is evident that there will be a place of place and this will proceed to infinity further still if as every body is in place so also in every place there is body what shall we say of things which are increased for from what has been said it is necessary that the place of them should be at the same time increased if place is neither less nor greater than each of the things which it contains hence therefore it is necessary not only to doubt what place is but also if it is chapter four but since one thing is predicated essentially and another according to something else with respect to place also one is common in which all bodies are contained but another proper in which anything primarily subsists i mean for instance you are now in the universe because you are in the air and this is in the universe you are also in air because you are in the earth and in a similar manner you are in the earth because you are in this particular place which comprehends nothing more than yourself if therefore place is that which first comprehends each body it will be a boundary so that place would appear to be the form and morphe of each thing by which magnitude is bounded and the matter of magnitude for this is the boundary of each to those therefore who thus consider the affair place is the form of each of the things which it contains so far however as place appears to be the interval of magnitude it is rather matter for this is different from magnitude and this is that which is comprehended and bounded by form as by a superficies and limit but matter and the indefinite are of this kind for when the boundary and the passive qualities of the sphere are taken away nothing remains except matter hence also plato in the timaeus says that matter and a receptacle are the same thing for that which is capable of receiving and a receptacle are one and the same thing but though he there speaks of that which is capable of receiving in a different manner from what he says of it in what are called his unwritten dogmas yet at the same time he asserts place and a receptacle to be the same for all philosophers affirm that place is something but plato alone has attempted to say what it is hence from these things it may reasonably appear to be difficult to those who consider the affair to know what place is if it is either of these viz matter or form 
to which it may be added that these two are attended with the highest speculation and separate from each other cannot easily be known it is not however difficult to see that it is impossible for either of these to be place for form and matter are not separated from the thing but place may be separated from it for in that in which there was air water as we have said again enters water and air alternately succeeding each other and in a similar manner with respect to other bodies so that place is neither a part nor a habit but is separate from each particular thing for place appears to be a thing of such a kind as a vessel since a vessel is a place which may be transferred and a vessel is not anything belonging to that which it contains so far therefore as place is separate from the thing which it receives so far it is not form and so far as it comprehends so far it is different from matter but being always appears to be somewhere and to be itself something and it always seems that external to there is something different from it we must however ask plato if it be necessary to digress why forms and numbers are not in place if place is capable of participating whether that which can participate is the great and the small or whether it be matter as he has written in the timaeus again how could a thing be carried to its own place if place were matter or form for it is impossible that place should be that of which there is no motion nor upward or downward so that place must be investigated in things of this kind but if place is in the thing itself for it is necessary that it should if it were form or matter place will be in place for it will be changed and moved together with the thing form also and the indefinite are not always in the same place but are there where the thing is so that there will be a place of place further still when water is produced from air place would perish for the body which is generated is not in the same place what then is the corruption and thus we have shown from what arguments it is necessary that place should be something and again from what some one may doubt concerning its essence chapter five in the next place let us consider in how many ways one thing is in another in one way then as a finger in the hand and in short as a part in the whole in another way as the whole in the parts for the whole is not without the parts in another way as man in animal and in short as a species in genus in another way as genus in a species and in short as a part of species in the definition of species again one thing is in another as health in things hot and cold and in short as form in matter further still as the affairs of greece in the king and in short as that which is in the first mover again as in the good and in short as in the end but this is that for the sake of which a thing subsists but one thing is in another in the most proper way of all when it is as in a vessel and in short as in place it may however be doubted whether one and the same thing can be in itself or nothing can but all things are either nowhere or in another but this is twofold viz either essentially or with reference to something else for when both that in which a thing is inherent and that which is inherent in this thing are parts of the whole then the whole is said to be in itself for it is said to be so with reference to the parts thus a thing is white because the superficies is white and man possesses scientific knowledge because the reasoning power is scientific neither the vessel therefore nor the wine will be in itself but the vessel will be the vessel of the wine for both that which is inherent and that in which it is inherent are parts of the same 
thus therefore it may happen that the same thing may be in itself primarily however this is not possible thus for instance the white is in body for superficies is in body but science is in the soul according to these however being parts the appellations are assumed so that they are said to be in man but the amphora and the wine being separate are not parts but taken together they are parts hence when they are parts the same thing will be in itself as for instance the white is in man because it is in body and in this because it is in superficies but it is in this no longer through another and these are different in species and superficies and whiteness possess a different nature and power neither therefore if we consider the affair by induction shall we see that anything is in itself according to any definition and reason indeed shows that this is impossible for it would be requisite that each should be both as for instance that the amphora should be the vessel and the wine and the wine the wine and the amphora if it be possible for any thing to be in itself so that if they were especially in each other yet the amphora would receive the wine not so far as it is the wine but so far as it is the amphora but the wine will be in the amphora not so far as it is the amphora but so far as that in which it is is the amphora that these therefore are different according to essence is manifest for there is one definition of that in which a thing is and another of that which is in this beside neither is this possible according to accident for two bodies would be at the same time in the same thing since the amphora will be in itself if that which is naturally a recipient can be in itself and further still that which it is capable of receiving will be in the same as for instance wine if it is capable of receiving wine that it is impossible therefore for anything to be primarily in itself is manifest but the doubt of zeno that if place is anything it will be in something it is not difficult to solve for nothing hinders the first place from being in something else yet just in the same manner as health is in hot things as a habit but heat is in the body as a passion so that it is not necessary to proceed to infinity this however is evident that since the vessel is not any part of that which is in it for that which is primarily inherent and that in which are different place will neither be matter nor form but something different from either for these things viz matter and form are something belonging to that which is inherent let these therefore be the doubts chapter six what however place is will become evident as follows but let us admit concerning it such things as appear to be truly present with it essentially first then we should think that place comprehends that of which it is the place and that it is not anything of that which it contains and again that the first place is neither less nor greater than the thing contained in it and also that it does not desert each particular thing and is not separable from it beside this we should think that every place has upward and downward and that every body naturally tends to and abides in its proper place and that it does this either upward or downward these things being admitted let us survey what remains but it is necessary that we should endeavour so to conduct the speculation that what place is may be unfolded so that the doubts may be solved and the things which appear to be present with place may remain and beside this that the cause of the difficulty and of the doubts about it may be manifest for thus each particular will be exhibited in the most beautiful manner in the first place therefore it is necessary to understand that place could not be investigated unless there were some motion according to place for on this account we especially conceive that the heavens are in place because they are always in motion 
but of this motion one kind is lation and another increase and diminution for a change takes place in increase and diminution and that which was formerly here is again transferred into the less or the greater but with respect to things which are moved some are essentially in energy and others according to accident and of those which are according to accident some can be moved essentially as for instance the parts of the body and the helm in a ship but others cannot be so moved but are always moved accidentally as for instance whiteness and science for these thus change their place because that changes in which they subsist but as we say that a thing is in the heavens as in place because it is in air and air is in the heavens so we say that a thing is in air that is not in the whole of air but on account of its extremity and that which comprehends we say that a thing is in air for if the whole of air were place the place of each particular thing and each particular thing itself would not be equal they appear however to be equal and such is the first place in which a thing subsists when therefore that which contains is not divided but continued then a thing is said to be in it not as in place but as a part in the whole but when it is divided and touches then it is in a certain first which is the extremity of that which contains and which is neither a part of the thing contained nor greater than the interval but equal to it for the extremities of things that touch are in the same and that which is continued is not indeed moved in but together with it but that which is divided is moved in it and whether that which contains is moved or whether it is not it is not the less moved further still when it is not divided it is said to be as a part in the whole as for instance sight in the eye or the hand in the body but when it is divided or touches it is said to be as in place as for instance water in a wine vessel or wine in an earthen vessel for the hand is moved together with the body and the water in the wine vessel hence therefore it is now evident what place is for there are nearly four things of which it is necessary place should be one for it is either form or matter or a certain interval between the extremes of a thing or the extremes if there is no interval beside the magnitude of the inherent body but of these it is evident that three cannot be place through containing indeed it appears to be form for the extremes of that which contains and of that which is contained are in the same both therefore are boundaries yet not of the same thing but form is the boundary of the thing contained but place of the containing body in consequence however of that being frequently changed which is contained and divided while that which contains remains as water from a vessel that which is between appears to be a certain interval as if that which is changed were something beside body but this is not the case but any body whatever departs among those that are transferred and are naturally adapted to touch if however there were any interval which is naturally adapted to abide in the same place there would be infinite places for water and air being transferred all the parts affect the same thing in the whole as all the water in the vessel at the same time too the place will be changed so that there will be another place of place and there will be many places together there is not however another place of the part in which it can be moved when the whole vessel is transferred but the same place for in that place in which they are contained air and water and the parts of water are alternately transferred and not in that place into which they pass and which is a part of the place that is the place of the whole heaven matter also may appear to be place if any one directs his attention to that which is at rest and is not separated but continued for just as if matter is changed in quality 
something which is now white was formerly black and that which is now hard was formerly soft on which account we say that matter is something thus also place appears to be something through a fantasy of this kind except however that in the instance of water and air this is said to be the case because that which was air is now water but in place because where there was air there is now water but matter as was before observed is neither separable from the thing nor does it contain both which are the properties of place if therefore place is no one of the three viz if it is neither form nor matter nor interval in consequence of always being something different from the thing which is transferred place must necessarily be that which remains of the four viz it must be the boundary of the containing body but i call the containing body that which is movable according to local motion it appears however to be something great and difficult to apprehend what place is both through its appearing to be at the same time matter and form and through the transition of that which is borne along being affected in that which contains when at rest for it appears that there may be a certain interval between different from the magnitudes which are moved the air also contributes something which seems to be incorporeal for place appears to be not only the extremities of a vessel but also that which subsists between as a vacuum as however a vessel is a place which may be transferred so place is an immovable vessel hence when anything is moved in that which is moved that also which is within changes its place just as a ship in a river so that it uses that which contains rather as a vessel than as place but place wishes to be something immovable and hence the whole river is rather place because the whole is immovable so that the first immovable boundary of that which contains is place chapter seven and on this account the middle of the heavens and the extremity of the circular motion which is toward us appear to be especially common to all things this above and that beneath because the one always abides and the extremity of the circle also abides possessing a sameness of subsistence hence since that which is light is naturally carried upward and that which is heavy downward the comprehending boundary which is toward the middle and also the middle itself are downward but the containing boundary which is toward the extremity and the extremity itself are upward on this account place appears to be a superficies and as it were a vessel and that which contains further still place in a certain respect subsists together with the thing which it contains for boundaries subsist together with that which is bounded hence that body is in place beyond which there is some other body that contains it but that is not in place beyond which there is no such body on this account the water should become a thing of this kind yet the parts of it will be moved for they are comprehended by each other but the universe in a certain respect will be moved and in a certain respect not for so far as it is the whole at the same time it will not change its place but it will be moved in a circle for this is the place of the parts and some things indeed will not be moved upward and downward but in a circle but others viz such as have rarity and density will be moved upward and downward as we have said however some things are in place according to capacity but others according to energy on this account when that which is of similar parts is continued the parts are in place according to capacity but when they are separate and touch like a heap then they are in place according to energy and some things indeed are in place essentially as for instance every body which is movable either according to lation or according to increase is essentially somewhere but heaven i e the universe is not as we have said anywhere totally nor in one certain place since no body comprehends it 
but so far as it is moved so far its parts are in place for one part adheres to another but other things are in place accidentally as for instance soul and the universe for all the parts are in a certain respect in place since in a circle one part comprehends another hence the upward body alone is moved in a circle but the universe is not anywhere for somewhere is itself something and it is necessary that there should be something else in which this somewhere is and which contains it but beside the universe and the whole there is nothing external to the universe hence all things are contained in the heaven for the heaven is perhaps the universe but place is not the heaven but a certain extremity of the heaven and a quiescent boundary which touches the movable body hence the earth is in water this in air and air in ether ether is in the heaven but heaven is no longer in anything else but from these things it is evident that this explanation of place being admitted all the doubts may be solved for neither is it necessary that place should be co-increased nor that there should be a place of a point nor that two bodies should be in the same place nor that there should be any corporeal interval for that which is between place is any casual body and not an interval of body place also is somewhere yet not as in place but as bound in the thing bounded for not every being is in place but only movable body everything therefore tends to its own place in a becoming manner for that which is next in order and touches but not by violence is of a kindred nature and being connascent indeed they are impassive but when they come into contact they are mutually passive and active hence everything naturally abides in its proper place not irrationally for this particular part has the same ratio to the whole place as a divided part to the whole as for instance when any one moves a portion of water or air thus also is air to water for this is as matter but that as form water indeed is the matter of air but air is as it were a certain energy of water for water is air in capacity but air is after another manner water in capacity afterward however we shall determine concerning these things but the occasion rendered it necessary to speak about them at present and what has now been obscurely said will be then more perspicuous if therefore the same thing is matter and energy for water is both but is one in capacity and the other in energy it will subsist in a certain respect as a part to the whole hence also in these there is contact but there is a coherence when both become one in energy and concerning place indeed that it is and what it is has been said end of chapter seven of book four recording in memory of mitchell edwards